This one is about money and the DIY solar system. Okay, to start this off, I don't think money is the issue. Uh, I understand that people want paybacks and so on. I don't think you should be putting solar in to make money. I, I think that's it's ridiculous. That's not the reason I do it. I realize for some people that's the way it's going to be and that's the way it has to be. But the primary value to solar is the fact that you are not sucking down the utilities. Every time the utility has to make power for you, they have to make decisions on what type of fuel to use to make that power and oftentimes that fuel is very damaging to our environment. So I don't think this is the issue. I will deal with it simply because this is what we have to do. Uh, because a lot of people simply can't just say, I'll do this. Uh, I decided to do solar about four years ago. I did a lot of tests with various little systems to see what was effective. And I found that rooftop solar is by far the cheapest thing to put up. And it works far better than you'd expect it to. Far better. Uh, rotating panels, all the rest of that stuff, I tried all that stuff, it, it's useless. Too much mechanics, too expensive, too prone to uh, failure. So, rooftop solar, don't have to have any structure because the structure is the house or the shop or whatever. So, I started out in 2019 doing DIY solar on my house and I did it in sections. I have four circuits. Each circuit is 14 panels, 20 amp circuit, 20 amp, 240 volt. It uses microinverters and uh, varying 310 to 330 watt panels. Those panels are now being kind of discontinued for 400 watt panels, but it, the efficiency is about the same. I did my system through Fire Mountain Solar. It's a company in Washington. I'm not sure if they deal outside of Washington State or not, but uh, they offer DIY systems. They supplied me with all the equipment. As a little bit of an aside right off the bat, solar panels at this point are cheaper than windows. I can go down and buy a window the same size as my solar panel, a double pane window, and it will cost less for a solar panel. They're just flat cheaper. Okay, price of these things has dropped like a stone. Okay, warranties. Uh, there was much talk about warranties for a while. Now it's pretty well settled. 25 years on the inverters, 25 years uh, on the panels. These are warranties that may outlive the companies, who knows, but uh, they, they believe they will last that long and still have 80% output. Okay, so I, I put in these four systems. One of them was on the south face of the roof of my house. That was the first one I put in, 14 panels, seven microinverters running 240 volts off the roof and into uh, the, uh, the system. It's assorted panels, you know, and so on, uh, electrical panels and so on. Uh, I'm not going to get deep into how this is put together. I may do something on that later, but this is not a DIY how-to. This is what they do. Okay. I put that first set of panels in in 2019. Uh, 2020, I put in two more circuits, uh, both of which were on my shop, south facing roof on the shop. Uh, those things had a little bit more wiring in them because I had to run wiring back to the panel 
in the uh, in the house so a little more expense there uh, the last set of panels I put in is back on the house again but these are west facing panels okay the west facing panels so far the performance of the west facing has been pretty good I will have solid numbers on this uh, probably in a year to to be sure and maybe some some numbers on a few months but it appears that the west facing panels are going to produce about 80 percent of what the south facing panels are okay remember these panels are cheap they're not a very expensive uh, product to put up okay so what did I have total in a DIY system with four circuits I had fifteen thousand uh, uh, right at fifteen thousand dollars invested in this thing to start with uh, it's just materials only of course if it was installed by a contractor it looks like it would be thirty eight to forty thousand dollars in today's numbers okay a little more expensive than DIY so now we get to payback how much electricity does it save I went back to before I had any solar panels at all and I went over my bills and I found I had around nine hundred dollars in uh, electricity expenditures per year now that can vary you know with, uh, with, with you know with different people but uh, so nine hundred dollars here's the one that really made the difference the 900 is not a whole lot it's going to take quite a while to pay it back however I drive an electric car and so I charge it at home 90% of the time at least with gasoline at three dollars and fifty cents a gallon which it is right now I don't know what it's going to do in the future but that's what it is right now and 20,000 miles a year which is about what I put on the car I'm going to save $2,800 that was a lot larger than I thought it was going to be uh, the savings from the charging of the car is far in excess of the electrical bill that I had prior to uh, solar panels and of course electric car so that was a little bit of a shocker to me how much difference that made now let's look at another little issue here I, by the way that's about a four year pay up, payback so after four years uh, you can quote make money but there's another issue right now uh, I have about six sixty two hundred kilowatt hours in my bank now because this is a grid tied system when I produce more than I use I get a credit for it from the utility okay now the utility is going to pay me back those credits in the winter when I don't produce as much solar power in the summer I can produce on a sunny day I can produce 100 to 110 kilowatts that's more than I ever ever use anyway I've got that 6200 this is October right now very end of October and we'll start drawing that down probably sometime in November where I won't produce as much now at the end of the the winter season I should still have around 4,000 hours or 4,000 kilowatts okay if I have that 4,000 kilowatts and I'll I'll get back to you uh, this next spring with how that comes out but it looks like that that's about what it's going to be uh, they're going they're not going to pay me for this my utility uh, I think in May zeroes it out and gives it to people that have not paid their electric or couldn't pay their electric bill uh, so they give those kilowatt hours to them I will be changing 
my heat source in this house this next year to uh, a gas backup with a heat pump. I'll be using a high efficiency heat pump. My, my thought is I will have enough kilowatt hours built up with that 4,000 to uh, heat my house for the winter season. I'll tell you how it comes out when I get the time, uh, you know, when I have had some time with it, one, one over a winter. So the uh, this system ideally could be zero, meaning I take no power from the utility uh, in an overall sense. I am drawing power from the utility when they uh, when I can't produce enough and so there is an impact there. When I get this to the point that I are pretty much zeroed out, that's where I want to be. Because at that point I have the least impact on my environment that I can have. I spent my entire life burning fuel for various reasons. I would like to give back now. And it is the future, uh, regardless of whether there's a payback, and there certainly is, uh, the uh, solar is worth it, and it does give you a payback. You can do your own numbers on having someone install this stuff. Uh, the payback's going to be a lot longer. But remember, the Solar panels are guaranteed for 25 years to be 80% of their uh, original output and the inverters are guaranteed for 25 years. At the end of 25 years, or maybe 30, because I had a new roof on the house when I started this, the roof's going to be uh, worn out and I will have to replace the roof. When I replace the roof, the panels will also be replaced and they'll probably be far more efficient at that time. Uh, love to hear comments on how, uh, how I've done this system and what you think about it. Uh, but from my point of view, this is probably the smartest thing I've done in a long time, uh, especially from an environmental standpoint. That's it on this one.